Hey everyone, it's Christine with Indigo Wings. I have the general Twin Flame Soul to Soul Connection reading for the week of December 10th through the 16th. Uh, I'm doing, again, I'm doing another mini reading. Uh, you know, just a busy time of year. And um, this just allows me to get the messages out. Um, in a more timely manner. Uh, the reading that uh, I'm doing here is a reading that I do offer on my website as well as the regular full Twin Flame and Soul Connection reading, so um, either of those are available. Um, I don't have a lot to say uh, before I do the reading, believe it or not. I know I can be kind of chatty sometimes. Uh, before I am going to be um, offering a promotion this week for 10% off anything in the store. Uh, just use code CHEER at checkout and um, I'm hoping I will have that up and running by the time this video is posted on YouTube. So if you have any questions, just send me an email. Uh, I, I'm going to try something just a tiny bit different uh, with the camera and with um, doing this video. Uh, I, I'm going to try tilting the camera down so that you can see the cards and the layout as I'm talking about them. Uh, give me your feedback. Comment below. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, if it matters, not, whatever. Um, you know, so I know if I if that's something I should continue to try doing for the future or scrap it. Um, you know, I, I think that this reading is reflecting again a lot of what I'm seeing uh, with my clients, uh, what I'm seeing with a lot of the uh, divine connection energies in the community. Uh, you know, the the energies are just, you know, I, I really don't want to label them as intense, but I just, we're, we're clearing things out, we're wrapping things up, we're wrapping up 2017, and we're getting ready for the new stuff that's going to be happening in 2018. I mean, that that's just, that's what I'm seeing. Um... And really, I mean, I'm, I'm just getting confirmation after confirmation. I'm seeing it everywhere. So that's what we're going to be um, seeing here as well. So I'm going to tilt the camera down and um, start with the reading. As always, uh, take what resonates. Um, if this reading does not resonate with you, that's okay. Um, it's not the message for you. Uh, you know, this is a general reading, so not all of the messages will resonate with everyone. You know, this is a, a broad audience. Um, I did just upload my separation uh, reading onto Vimeo, so that is available uh, if you are looking for um, something that is more um, in line with that. And yeah, I'm going to get started. So for the feminine energy, the card that comes up here is dedicated effort. And I sort of had a feeling that this was going to come up before it even came up. And I don't know if I had a dream about this card. I don't know. I've seen this card recently um, for the feminine. I don't know. I don't know if it... I, and I can't place where, and it's kind of bothering me, but I knew this card was coming. You know, and it, it, there's a mixed bag here. For some of you, if you want to move forward with your Divine Masculine, some of you are going to have to make an effort to make it work um, you know and that's not to say you throw yourself at them 
it's uh, you know don't push them away don't don't um, you know if they're making an effort with you receive it you know if they, be open to receiving what they're offering you but for a lot of you what I'm seeing this as um, you know it's time for you to put to focus that the effort that you have focused so long on this relationship it's really time to focus it on yourself you know and and what is it that you need what does that look like um you know put that dedicated effort into the relationship that you have with yourself um you know, there are three clarifying cards that came out here. We have the Two of Fire. We have the King of Air. And then we have the Queen of Air. You know, and the Two of Fire is all about coming into your own and continuing to move forward. And so that's exactly what you need to be doing. You are coming into a place of your own personal power and you are taking control of that. And, and you may have to leave your divine masculine in your dust for a while. It doesn't mean you don't care about them. It, it just means you have to keep, it, you just have to keep moving forward. That's all it means. The king of air. Um, you know, the needing to, to balance both your mind and your emotions. And, you know, that absolutely is something that is a challenge for you. You know, staying out of your head, not, not letting your thoughts run away from you, but also not getting wrapped up in your emotions as well. Um you know and and being able to be very clear with saying what you need to say you know being clear and not just being clear but having the confidence to say what you need to say um you know and and i feel like you you may need to be very clear with your divine masculine that I got to do me for a while and, and it has nothing to do with you. It doesn't mean I don't care about you. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything other than I got to do me. I got to take care of myself. Um, you know, and, and maybe in the past you've been kind of meek and, and you haven't come across as being sure of that being the next thing you need to do and and this is you being like oh yeah this is what I need to do um, and then the other card that we have here we have the Queen of Error you know an objective decision making like you know keeping the emotions out of it and and not letting your mind run away with you being very um, you know, wise and, and, you know, basing it off of what's in your best interest. And, you know, and, and this card can be seen as kind of harsh in some ways because she has no problem clearing away the things that are not working for her at the moment. And that's exactly what um, is going to take place here. You know, focusing on yourself is going to include 
moving away from the things that are not in your best interest. It doesn't mean you're moving away from the divine masculine. It means you might be moving away from behaviors. This could also mean you've got an entirely different scenario going on that you just need, you need to clear that up. You need to take care of that. You know, like you've got your own thing going on over here that you need to clear the energy from that and, and take care of it before you can focus here. You know, you have your own loose ends that need to be tied up before you can jump into something with another person. Because the Queen of Air, this is also a card of separation, divorce. You know, so this, put, for some of you who are in relationships with someone else, you know, this could be... Um, a change there you you could be moving away from that relationship and focusing on yourself so the next card that comes up for the masculine two cards came out here <clears throat> is just breathe and spread your wings and you know, what I'm getting here is that, so the clarifying card is the five of air. You know, you have a five for changes, and the five of air is, you know, there was an, there was an unwise, a choice was made that, and, and I feel like the Divine Masculine made a choice that was not, they feel like they did not make a good choice. And now they're they're they are trying to figure out now what, and, and they they feel like they're up shit's creek, like they don't know what to really do, and so they they need you know they may have already freaked out, but in some ways you know they're freaking out. They need to chill out. They need to take a breath and kind of detach themselves from what's going on so they can kind of look at the bigger picture, um, you know, look at it from a different perspective. Um, you know, and I feel like there's a couple things going on here. I feel like they feel like they screwed up with their divine feminine. And I feel like it's connected to their personal life too. They feel there's like it's like a twofold. They screwed up in their personal life somehow here, and they screwed up with the feminine. You know, and and but there's no wrong choices. There's not. There's always something that we can learn from what's happening. So so this is an opportunity for the divine masculine to learn and grow. And, you know, that's, that's what this is. You know, instead of wallowing in, oh, I, did, I, I made the wrong choice, I screwed up, my life is over, you know, moving on, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a deep breath and I'm going to look at this from a different perspective. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, take a look at the big picture here and then spread your wings. You know, get ready to fly. I got this. I can handle this. You know, he has what it takes, what he needs to handle this situation on his own. You know, he doesn't need anybody to hold his hand and clean up his mess for him. This is his opportunity to shine and take care of it. And that's kind of what's going on here. Um, the energy of both masculine and the feminine 
we have release, and then we have the solar plexus. Now, release we had last week for the feminine, and so that's still happening. There's still that purging going on. Um, you know, I, I, because I, I feel like there's been a lot of stuff that has happened over the last year that I feel like both of you, it, it needs to be purged. It needs to move out this negative energy. It needs, it, it, you know, for some of you it's stagnant and it needs to be released. It needs to move out. It needs to move on. Um, you know, and I feel like you both are moving on from situations in which you felt like you did not have any power and you are you're ready to move into a place where you can reclaim your personal power so where your power comes from is your solar plexus and so this purging and releasing of things that are no longer serving you is is going to help you get to this and you know, what's interesting is you have the 13 and the 3, which adds up to a 16, which is a 7. You know, you're on the right path. This is destined. And then we have the dreamer as the clarifying card. You know, you just, th this getting to this point you know this purging and then being able to be in the place where you take back your personal power it's <clears throat> it's going to take a leap of faith you gotta take the leap you've both been staying you've both been kind of stuck because you're you're playing it safe you're staying in your safe zone um but you you gotta you gotta make the leap so that you can follow your dreams. When you do that, so many things are going to happen for you and come your way. The near future. Challenging times. So we have the five again for changes. But I feel like, you know, yes, there, there's going to be difficulties. And I'm, I'm feeling like what I'm hearing is, you know, emotional roller coaster. But it's, it doesn't surprise me. And this doesn't have to be super negative. Um, the cards that came as clarifiers are renewal and the ace of water. So for you know something's going to be happening where i feel like you're going to be moving in a new direction and i do feel like there are going to be some of you masculine and feminine that are going to be moving together in a new direction you have this card which is moving in a new direction you have a man and a woman together um, you know this is a favorable assessment of what's going on and you have the ace of water you know this is your cup is full your cup runneth over this is the resurgence of a relationship falling in love You know, so for some of you, there is a coming back together. But challenging times because this might not be in the physical. Because you've got stuff happening. <laughs> you know, like this stuff doesn't sort itself out and get taken care of in a week or two. So you might come to this, these conclusions, you know, the renewal and the ace of water, which are amazing, what we all want and we want, desire, but it's challenging because you're still going to have to figure out 
how to get there, how that's going to happen. Um, you know, so there, it, it's not, it's not going to be all sunshine and roses. It's not going to, you know, be super easy peasy. And for some of you, this may be feminine. You deciding to stay where you are. You may, you may decide that if you're in a relationship, you there that relationship may turn a corner and you may work things out. And for some of you, I see this as a new love coming in because this card, regardless, is a, just a positive card for you of something new coming in and going in a new direction. So, you know, yes, it will be ups and downs, but be, it'll be because of good things that are coming in. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so the surrender card for the feminine, surrender low self-esteem. How many of you need to do that? The message on this card is you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. And, you know, so that's something for you, feminine, to be working on, you know, because as you feel better about yourself, you're going to attract more of that type of energy to you. The 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 more you love yourself and the more attractive you think you you are, the more you're going to attract that to you. Now for the masculine, what the masculine needs to surrender, surrender obsessive thinking. The message here is if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So I kind of want to, one thing I want to say here, Feminine, is see, you are not the only one that can be uh, very focused on their twin or on the situation. They can be too. Um, and so they, they need to hand this over in faith to spirit just as much as um, the feminine needs to. And then they also need to surrender stubbornness. I know a masculine or two who needs to surrender stubbornness, but I really shouldn't talk because I could probably use some um, surrender of stubbornness myself. <laughs> Um, so the message here is if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with yourself and with others. So, um, you know, if, if there are any of the masculine energies watching this, um, you know, hopefully that message is something they can hear where they can you know, maybe take a look at where they might be um, a little, a little rigid about something, and they can, you know, rethink that a little bit. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's video. Again, throw me a comment. Let me know what you thought about having the camera on the cards as I was reading them versus me just talking and holding them up if you prefer one way or the other. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, um, leave me a comment. I would love the feedback. Um, if you are interested in getting a reading with me, my website is indigoingshealing.com. You can email me at indigoings healing at gmail.com. You can find me at Facebook at facebook.com slash indigo wings healing. And I also have a Facebook group, which is, um, indigo wings soul connections. Um, and again, 
if you are ordering a reading this week through December 16th, you can use the code CHEER to get 10% off. And I'll put all that information down in the description of the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you all soon. Bye!